Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast day of Pope St. John Paul II. And we are very blessed to celebrate this feast day in the presence of the precious relic of his blood here among us. We present to St. John Paul II our needs, especially for healing, for reconciliation in this time. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and to bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who chose blessed John Paul II to preside over your whole people, and benefit them by word and example. 
keep safe, we pray by His intercession, the shepherds of your church, along with the flocks entrusted to their care, and direct them in the way of eternal salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I know that good does not dwell in me, that is, in my flesh. The willing is ready at hand, but doing the good is not. For I do not do the good I want, but I do the evil I do not want. Now if I do what I do not want, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. So then I discover the principle that when I want to do right, evil is at hand. For I take delight in the law of God in my inner self, but I see in my members another principle, at war with the law of my mind, taking me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. Miserable one that I am, who will deliver me from this mortal body? Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. Lord, teach me your statutes. You are good and bountiful. Teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Lord, teach me your statutes. Never will I forget your precepts, for through them you give me life. Lord, teach me your statutes. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. Lord, teach me your statutes. Please all stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a on my path. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky? Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. 
Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, when we want to study about our bodies, where would we go usually? Siguro ko naaalala ninyo noong tayo ay nag-aaral pa o marami sa mga nanonood sa atin ngayon na mga estudyante siguro na nag-aaral when we study our bodies, we use science. So maybe many of us still remember our biology classes, human anatomy, but our great saint today, Pope John Paul II, taught us that Yes, there is a science of the body, but aside from science, there is also a theology of the body. And the body is not just about functioning well. The body not only has functions, but the body has a purpose and meaning. Yan po ang nais ituro ni Pope John Paul II sa atin. The theology of the body. It is not about the function of the body physically, but it is about the meaning and purpose of our bodies. And this was realized by St. Paul in our first reading today. That the body is not just about science, the body is also about God. That is why in our first reading today, St. Paul tells us, I do not understand my body, he said. I want to do good, but there is an evil principle taking me to the dark side. St. Paul realizes that the body has a purpose, and that is to choose the good. The body was created by God not only to function well or to nourish us, but the body was created by God so that we could proclaim the goodness and the meaning of God. That is why Jesus, in our gospel passage today, tells us, yes, you can interpret the signs of the weather, of the climate, but do you also interpret not only the function of your body, but the purpose of your body. Jesus tells his disciples, choose always what is right. Choose what is good. That is the purpose of your body. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa araw na ito, ay itinuturo sa atin na ang nais nating mangyari ay hindi lamang ang ating katawan ay maging malusog kundi ang ating katawan ay maging isang daan para mamuhay ng maayos, mamuhay ng mabuti, at ipahayag ang kabutihan ng Diyos. The goal is not just for the body to function well, but our body should live well also to proclaim the goodness and the meaning and the purpose God gave to our bodies. Kaya po ngayong araw, wag lamang nating iisipin ano nga ba ang function ng mata ko. No? Malinaw pa ba ang mata ko? No? Yung iba sa atin, nagsasalamin na. Maayos pa ba ang kutis ko? 
Maayos pa ba ang mga kamay ko? Malakas pa ba? Hindi lamang yan ang purpose ng katawan, ang maging malakas at malusog. Tanungin din natin, malinaw nga ang mata ko, pero ginagamit ko ba sa pagtingin sa hindi maganda? Yan ang magandang tanong. Maganda pa ba ang boses ko? Malinaw pa ba? Hindi lamang yan ang tanong. Ang tanong, ginagamit ko ba ang boses ko, ang aking bibig, sa pagsasalita ng totoo at hindi pagsisinungaling? Minsan, concerned tayo, matalino ba ako? Ang akin bang isip ay matalas pa? Nakakaalala pa ba ako? Baka ang concern natin ay ang pag-function mabuti ng brain, pero ginagamit mo naman ang talino mo sa pangdaraya at pagnanakaw sa ibang tao. The goal is not just for the body to function well, but to live well. Siguro po naaalala ninyo si Pope John Paul II noong siya ay tumatanda na. Yan po yung kanyang picture. Towards the end of his days, Pope John Paul II's body was not functioning well. He has Parkinson's disease. Nanginginig ang kanyang kamay. Hindi siya makapagsalita ng mabuti. But even if his body was not functioning well, his body was still living well, still proclaiming the message of God, still living the purpose and meaning of holiness. Eh yung iba sa atin, malusog nga, pero magnanakaw. Yung iba sa atin, matalas pa ang isip, pero ginagamit ang talino sa pagpapakalat ng fake news. Yung iba sa atin nakapag-aral sa ibang bansa, pero ginagamit sa pangdaraya at pagsisinungaling. The body is not there just to function well. The body should have a meaning and purpose. And we should live according to the meaning and purpose of the body given by God. My dear brothers and sisters, today, let us thank Pope John Paul II who taught us not just the science of the body, but a theology of the body, teaching us that our body not only has functions, the body has a meaning and purpose. And our goal in life is not just to function well, but to live well according to the meaning and purpose of God. Amen. Please stand. The Lord Jesus tells us to watch for the day of His return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for the Lord's return. For every petition, let us say, prepare, prepare us for your kingdom, Lord. Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord. That the church may respond to the call for conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare, Prepare us for, for your, your kingdom, kingdom, Lord, that people of goodwill may work together to put an end to war and hatred, oppression and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare, Prepare us for, for your, your kingdom, kingdom Lord, Lord, that we may become more aware of the presence of Christ among the poor and the suffering people. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare, Prepare us for, for your, your kingdom, kingdom Lord, Lord that the sick may be given strength and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare, Prepare us for, for your, your kingdom, kingdom Lord. Lord, that our friends and relatives who have died 
may experience everlasting joy in the company of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare, Prepare us, us for, for your, your kingdom, kingdom, Lord. In silence, let us now present to the Lord through in the intercession of Pope John Paul II our personal intentions and prayers. Almighty God, listen to our prayers. Open our eyes to your presence all around us and make us closer to you each day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of blessed John Paul II, a means to our eternal salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for as on the festival of saint john paul ii you bid your church rejoice so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers and so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim holy holy holy, holy, holy lord, lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy.